Welcome, friends, to the last uh, video in our series on biblical counseling. This is the review for the exam, and after this, I'm just going to leave you for a few days. I've written the exam already. In fact, it's in front of me right now while I give you the review. So let's have a prayer, and then we'll start. Our Father in heaven, I ask you bl that you'll bless us as we prepare for the exam, more particularly for the exam of life. And I ask for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, so let me tell you about the exam, and then we'll get to what you can do to get ready for it. The exam starts out with uh, 11 questions that are scenarios about individuals, individuals that are bipolar or schizophrenic or that are deeply depressed or that are ashamed or guilty or addicted to uh, a sexual addiction or another addiction or that are dyslexic or that are uh, facing post-traumatic stress disorder or any one of those situations and others. There are 11 different ones there, and I think that represents just about one from each of the conditions we studied this semester. What I'm going to ask you to do for each one of those is to give to that individual, fake individual, mind you, uh, counsel. And uh, you should have a lot of counsel for each one of those. They come into your office. What can you share with them? You can use your Bible for this exam, but not a marked Bible. Uh, not a Bible marked uh, with uh, materials that I taught you in the class. Um, yeah, that's right. If you want to mark your Bible with things of your own, but not from the class, that's fine with me. But you can use your Bible. I, I want to see... Uh, under each of those 11 questions, that you know how to comfort them, how to encourage them, how to guide them, that you know practical steps they can take that might help them, that you have ideas. Uh, I'm looking for content to show that you are qualified to be a counselor. And, uh, and uh, some of those, it might be related to drug medications, but not for many of them probably. So I think what you'll want to do is just go through our list of lectures. And when you've done those collaborative learning, the cooperative learning, those questions I had you discuss, many of them are quite similar to the information that you'll need right here on the exam. So if you wrote that out, you might want to study your cooperative learning materials. I think that would do you just well. So after those 11 questions, then there are questions related to our first lectures about the higher and the lower powers, about the mind and the will and habits and character and their purposes and uses and how Satan deflects them. Questions related to how the mind works. And uh, so you should have that, that idea uh, under control. And uh, there are questions here about, <clears throat> about that lecture I gave about principles of biblical counseling, guiding principles about how to do it, how to manage, things to keep in mind. Uh, you know, the principles like don't be alone with someone of the opposite gender in a counseling session. So I think I gave you 10 of those principles. Uh, on the exam, I'm asking you for quite a number of them, but not that many. So you want to get those principles in your mind. And then the last part of the exam uh, is the part where you'll have the chance to do the most writing, but you might have the hardest time, especially if you hate writing. But that is where we talk about the spirit of prophecy, that the contribution that God has given to us through Ellen White related to mental health. And uh, I don't know how to, how to tell you how to prepare for that because the material there is too large. I mean, we went over too much material. There's no way you could learn it all. But I'll suggest to you that you look at the Spirit of Prophecy statements, review the ones about the pioneers and the ones regarding diseases of the imagination, and uh, that you make sure that you at least know a number of things about the diseases of the imagination and suggestions Ellen White gave for helping people that have these mental health uh, scenarios. And uh, I'll 
if it looks to me like you really prepared for that part of the exam, I'll make sure I grade it quite leniently, even if what you learned isn't exactly what is asked about there. So if it looks like you didn't prepare for that at all, well, don't expect any leniency there. All right, well, that is the uh, preparation for the exam, and you can take it from here. Uh, I suggest that you spend about four to five hours studying for that exam. Uh, if you're a slow reader or English is your second language, maybe six or seven hours. So this period and next period, there's two of them. The rest you'll want to pull out of your uh, weekend or your time. Let me have a prayer for you, and I'll let you go to do your study and to prepare for this exam. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, I ask that you'll bless those who are taking this class, that you'd give them not only wisdom in preparing for the exam, but give them an experience with this knowledge where they could be really useful to the people that they're engaged in meeting. I ask for that in the name of Jesus. Amen.